DJ 53rd Annual Lord's Passover. 53rd Annual Lord's Passover is going to be held down here in Florida. It's going down. You're here tonight to get a chance to be righteous enough to be worthy of God. Come on to save you. That's right. It's going down. The Lord's 53rd Annual Passover. When we say we no coward, we stop that business. We no cowards up in here. Book your hotels now at the Holiday Inn Express and Suites. The IHG Hotel, 301 Tucker Lane, Cocoa Beach, Florida, 32926. Pass with all your dishes, pots, and sports nights. I gotta like this. This is like an apartment. And a hotel. You know what I mean? This here right here is about to be holy ground. This is gonna be holy ground. All our beautiful, wonderful brothers and sisters from all over the world. You understand? We can boast that now. Brothers and sisters coming not only from this every state, but from all over the world. I heard the numbers this year is ridiculous. We had to buy out the whole hotel. Friday, April 15th at the Space Coast Convention Center. This is going to be glorious. glorious. You are celebrating a God you know you know you know not of. Mm -hmm. You think if you let you do not love God, if you're celebrating pagan Valentine's Day. You, Valentine's Day, you do not. You do not love God if you celebrate Christmas or Easter. Let's let's get let's get the history of Valentine's Day. We're gonna read this one, brother. We're gonna bring out the truth. Let's see where Valentine's Day came from. And, 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 and if, if it has anything to do with God at all, go ahead. First, first, give me that scripture about the, give me that scripture again, about he hates, he hates, that God hates America's feast days and celebrations. Go ahead, brother. Oh, God. This is the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 21. I hate, I despise your feast day. What is Christmas? What? Your feast day. What is Thanksgiving? What? Your feast day. What is Easter? Your feast day. What is Valentine's Day? Your feast day. In the days of orgy, orgies. And disgusting sex, man. Now that now that now now that there's a great and a holy sex, and there's a disgusting sex. When a man and a woman come together, that's a holy sex. You know why? Because God said, "Be fruitful and multiply." Right. And you can only be fruitful when a man and a woman comes together. Now, when you have an orgies, threesomes, foursomes, and homosexual sex, that's disgusting sex according to God. It's unlawful. There's only one holy sex. And that's a man and a woman and a woman. That's ordained by God. The sex that you're gonna have on Valentine's Day is disgusting. It's an orgy. It's a threesome. It's a foursome. It's a it's a train being ran on one woman. Now let's let's read the history of Valentine's Day. Go ahead. Go ahead. And, and, I, and I know Valentine's Day seems it seems it, it doesn't seem harmful. It does, it does not seem as something wrong with Valentine's Day, but really, it's a worship of another god. Go ahead and read. The earliest possible origin. The earliest possible origin story of Valentine's Day. The pagan holiday Lupercalia of Lupercalia occurred for centuries. In the middle of February, so 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 so, Luper Celia was celebrated in the middle of February. Go ahead. The middle of February, the holiday celebrated celebrates fertility. That's where this comes from, man. 
the, the, the celebration, the celebration of, of Valentine's Day comes from trying to uh, trying to worship the god of fertility and bring forth children. Seems unharmful. Seems like nothing wrong with that, right? Let's read on. Men would strip naked and sacrifice a goat and dog. So that's the first thing. Men would strip on Valentine's Day, the original the original celebration. Men would strip butt naked. And would, and would kill animals. It would, they would kill dogs, and they would kill goats. And, what, and what, would, what would they do with that dead animal? Go ahead. Young boys would take their strips of hide from the sacrificed animals. So butt naked men and butt naked young boys would kill a dog and kill a goat, take, a, take the hide off or a piece of skin from the animal while it's dripping blood. Now what would they do with that bloody flesh? Go ahead and read and use it to whip young women. And, and now, imagine this, on Valentine's Day, you strip naked, and the girl that you have a crush on, you would take an animal's dead skin that's bloody, and, and, really, and really beat her with it, and whip her with it. That's the original, that, that is the original celebration, and that's the, or, the origin of Valentine's Day. That's where it comes from. We gotta realize we are celebrating pagan things that we know not of. But what's but what's more important than that? Than they just being than they, than they just being pagan. What's what's more important than that is God hates it. That's what's more important. The Lord hates these pagan holidays, and that's why we are destroyed by God. And that's why you get your heart broken on Valentine's Day. How many how many how many girls how how, how many how many breakups happen on Valentine's Day? Did you find out you found out your woman ain't you found out your, you found out your woman got more than one man. You were her only man. Or you found out she did not like your gift. And somebody else, and Tyrone gave her a better gift right. on Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is a day of whores and threesomes and orgies. It's a day of lust. That's it. Read on. To promote fertility. Imagine how stupid that is. And that's why it's pagan. Pagan people are dumb. Easter, Christmas, and Thanksgiving is pagan. It's for stupid people, man. Valentine's Day is pagan. Pagan is for, and it's for dumb people. Right. Imagine a Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, you strip naked, kill a dog, take the take the dog's skin, and slap your crush and beat your crush with it. Not just a little pat or a little whap. You're really beating your crush with a bloody piece of, piece of flesh. How stupid are you? How dumb are you? And guess what? You are getting ready to celebrate that stupid celebration in three days. What? Valentine's Day. Listen, we, listen back here. We got wives. And we make love every day. We, we make love damn every day to our woman. We ain't got to worry about Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is every day. And I, and I listen, that's why we got kids and wives. That's right. A lot of, we, get, we get Valentine's back here all the time. Then February 14th. Stop being an idiot. And stop and stop following things you not know you, you don't know of. How dumb can you be? I know we've been taught these holidays in school. I get that. We were we were born celebrating these stupid holidays that America made up. But now we're, we we are adults now. We got to be grown now and research the things that we research the things that we are celebrating. Do some research, man. And don't be a fool and an idiot and celebrate anything, man. Listen, that's a, that's a, listen. You've been doing that to us, white man. Get that on camera, man. You've been doing that to us anyway. And guess what? We I expect that from you because you are the devil. I I, I expect that from you. I I expect you to put your middle fingers up. We ain't been doing shit to you. You ain't been doing nothing. Our people support. Listen, you are the devil. Shalom, Israel. It's that time again. The week of Passover is packed with exciting events hosted by the ISUPK and Commanding General Yohannes. On Tuesday, a deep sea fishing trip with the generals. Arrival and boarding time at 7.30 a.m. The boat leaves at 8 a.m. sharp. Then on Wednesday, April 13th, join us for the annual lamb slaughter from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. Making sure the children of Israel have fresh lamb for the Passover. Then, after that, the ISUPK is having a fish fry from 4 p.m. until, which will lead to the scripture breakdown class with General Mahayim. Then, on Thursday morning, 
Hebrew Academy participants will see if they have what it takes to endure the Hebrew Academy trials. Commanding General Yohanna has something special lined up for the children with a children's party from 10.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Come join Commanding General Yohanna on Coco Beach as we renew our oath unto the Lord. by a hotel ballroom, all black, and Hebrew Academy dinner from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. And then on Friday, April 15th at 5 p.m., join us for the Lord's annual Passover as commanded in the scriptures at 5 p.m. sharp. On Saturday, April 16th, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. That's right, we're going to keep the Feast of Unleavened Bread from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Commanding General Yohanna has it all lined up for you, Israel. Come keep the Lord's Passover. Shalom.